What's up friends of the good mood, this is Money finally with the correct level 50 to 55 Vega Fleet farming tutorial. I have already created one but it was using Fury Battleships which I believe scared a lot of people off and also I forgot to mention one very crucial thing. How to make the enemy battleships all turn in the same direction and stick together. But important to know is that I'm using the Facebook controls, okay? Right here you can see how you change that from real-time strategy RTS to Facebook. I'm using Facebook and it's probably not gonna work the same with RTS, okay? So, where were we? Oh, that's right, we wanted to make all three enemy battleships turn the same direction and bunch up. And this is being done right here during the countdown phase. You can see I stopped the combat here in order to be able to explain it properly. Using the wedge formation puts the tank in an advanced position. That means that the movement and behavior of the enemy fleet will depend on what the cruiser does right when the first split second of combat begins. Why? I have no idea, but that's how it works. <laughs> so this is how we do it. You can see where my mouse cursor is, right? I have selected the tank, in this case a Revelation cruiser, and I'm holding my mouse cursor at the bottom over Venom slot 3. And right here I click, hold and drag the right mouse button on Facebook controls, by the way, and pull it to the right and release. This way I gave the ship an order to move backwards a little to the right from the ship's perspective, not from ours. And I make sure that all Venom battleships turn clockwise backwards and gather up in a perfect accurate line. Except for ship on slot 6, this one gets a little advanced position, but this is only something for the perfectionists. You would not have to do that, but it will come in handy later when we take out the enemy battleships. If all that went too fast for you to understand each and every single click, don't worry. Altogether, I will show you three fights in this video. One against level 55 right here, one versus level 50, and one versus level 53 on mobile. Because you can also do that on mobile if you know how to handle the controls, which I don't, <laughs> really. But I managed to pull it off still. <laughs> And in fight number two, I will explain every single click and button press in perfect detail. And we can see right here, thanks to our tank action in the beginning of the countdown phase, the enemy battleships bunched up, which is necessary for this strategy. While straving upwards with the battleships away from the enemy fleet, we do the same with the Revelation Cruiser and make sure that it never gets too close to our battleships, otherwise they would start getting some splash damage, which is just not necessary. Of course, against level 55s, our tank has to have some pretty nice shields in order to never run out of shield energy. If you also want to kill the level 55s in below 2 minutes, then you already start moving to the right with your Venom battleships before the last Apoch dies to get in position and also your tank strafes down towards the range of the enemy battleships. This is why you always have to move the mouse cursor over them to check for their weapons range so that you know where to place your tank. Because what happens now is the tank has the aggro, as we call it, of the battleships. The AI considers the tank the closest target and will not turn and fire on our battleships. But this is only the case as long as you have it very close to their weapons range, just by an inch out of it. And if your tank strafes at the wrong angle, it will be either too slow or too fast, which is not a problem, but you will have to adjust the distance to the enemy battleships more often then. Keep in mind, we never use left-click move orders during this whole thing, okay? We always use strafe commands, so right-click, either by a simple right-click for a destination or by click, hold and dragging it like we did in the beginning. So it took us 1 minute and 53 seconds to kill the entire fleet. Afterwards, you can collect all the resources and or share them with a sector. And if there's a riot going on, you would get around 20,000 points for it, I think. Here we can see the repair time, it's around 30 minutes, but judging from the hit points of our tank, you can do that around 6 to 7 times until you simply switch the tank with another one or repair. In any case, the highest mission requires you to kill 5 level 53s, so you never run out of hit points before you get the mission done, really. Alright, now we come to the detailed part. As you can see here, when the combat starts, all of your ships are selected. So we use that to our advantage and only right-click the Revelation Cruiser. This will unselect it and we only have the Venom Battleship selected now. Then we give our Venom Battleships the order to move backwards and turn clockwise by using the right mouse button to click, hold and drag it over to the right in a 90 degrees angle and release. And now we need to get Venom Slot 3 and 2 also in line with the others, so hit number button 2 on your keyboard and right click the third Venom to only have these two selected. Then we perform the same move order as we did in the beginning, exactly at the destination of Venom number 5. After that you can but don't have to bring Venom on Slot 6 into an advanced position. 
And then I perform the tank order here that I explained in the beginning. But there's a problem. This tank order is the most important one. And I think we should give that much earlier. Right after you gave the battleships the first order in the beginning. Because if the tank has not been ordered to move there, when the countdown ends, the enemy battleships will not gather up. And if you did that right with the second command, then you can take all the time in the world to place your battleships. The next step is to numerate all battleships to number 2. There are two ways to select all battleships now. Either perform a double left click on one of them, or hold the spacebar on your keyboard while dragging a square around them using left click and release, like I did in the first battle. Here's a quick replay. After all battleships are selected, you hold the control button on your keyboard, <laughs> the one most down to the left, and hit number 2 on the keyboard at the same time. From now on, number button 1 will select the tank, number button 2 will select the battleships. And while we still have them selected, we right click the first APOC down there and make all our battleships fire on that one no matter if another one is closer. Because the sooner we get rid of one ship, the less damage our tank has to get. And if we want to be perfectionists again, we can try to select the next target after the last shot that will kill the first one has been fired, so that we don't waste shots on already destroyed ships. Then remember again to keep a little bit of distance between the tank and the battleships and let them both strafe upwards. In this case I don't really need to strafe upwards because it's only a level 50 and these Apox and Condor die very fast. The rest is just staying shortly before the enemy battleships weapons range while having them slightly inside the weapons range of your battleships. After the upper after the upper battleship is gone, make sure to first use the tank to get closer to the other battleship's range and then close in with your battleships again. And don't forget that we're never using a left click as a move order here. Let's speed up the rest, you've already seen that. And since there was a riot going on when I recorded it, I also get 8500 loot for it and we can see the repair time now. Because it was only a level 50 Vega, I have a minimal amount of repair and we can do that around 25 times or more until our tank is low on health. So I told you that it was also possible on mobile, right? So I show you how. But it's definitely harder and more things can go wrong. And after that I show you the fitting. You might have noticed that I always try to attack exactly from 12 o'clock. I feel like that makes it easier to give accurate move orders. Excuse the choppy frame rate, please. It's because I'm recording with a phone at the same time. So basically what we do here, we zoom in, but not all the way. And then we give that direct move order to the tank and double tap the sixth battleship to select them all. Then we tap, hold, drag to the right and let go far over the Venom on slot 6 so we have a bit more time. Because that's the problem. We have less time from the beginning and need to be very careful with all our taps because it can easily happen that you accidentally select a ship or whatever when trying to zoom in or out and all that. And you should definitely practice this entire maneuver first against level 5 to 10 fleets on your planet until you get the hang of it, alright? And make sure that the AI mode is off. Holy shnikes, I had it on once and <laughs> that was bad. So back to the gameplay. In order to be able to select Venom slot 2 and 3, we group them by dragging one over the other and then tap the 2 up there. Then we have them both selected and we tap, hold and drag right there in order to line them up exactly with the others. So far we have not used a strafe command, that's what we do right now. We click the tank right there and click the move order on the destination again to give it a straving order. Then we also group the other battleships by dragging them also into the same ship and uh, yeah, the only thing left now is giving a strafe order to the battleships. So we click them up there and tap the thing again so that it is a straving order. So. Now we need to do the same with the tank and yeah, you can see it's working. And we're even defeating a level 53 fleet here, they are actually pretty tough. But this is a prime example here, I'm making a mistake and I'm glad that it's in here because otherwise you would not be able to see what I did wrong. Uh, I accidentally tap the move order twice here and uh, therefore uh, I make it not be a strafe order anymore but a regular move order and uh, I don't know when exactly it's gonna happen but it must be anytime soon. The annoying thing here is to uh, see the range of the enemy battleships because we can only check for the range if we have selected the revelation tank because this one has no weapon and therefore does not get a move order when we do that. If we have those battleships selected and try to check for the enemy range by tapping them then we accidentally give also a move order and everything hits the fan. <laughs> so always have the tank selected when checking their range. That's a bit annoying but I don't know how to fix that. Oh and by the way this is the moment when I screw up. You can see I give the order and then I tap it again which means I gave it a regular order and the battleships are starting to turn towards it and I don't even see it because I'm so concentrated on clicking with a tank. Damn it! 
And this is the moment when I realized what's happening and I was like, what the hell are you guys doing? But like I said, it's good that it's here because this way you can see what you can do wrong. And even though I did that wrong, I still can't fix it, okay? We still don't have to take another shot or something like that because we can also, like, correct the thing. Oh, oh, I do get another shot. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, other than that, we don't need to take another one, right? And we can see down there, uh, there is still a sliver of shield left, so we did not get full damage against the armor. And once I finally managed to get the strafe order working again, then we can see that we can still take out the battleship uh, without being shot. We just have to make sure we're flying like this, and uh, yeah, not go in with all the battleships at the same time, but only with those two that can fire right away. Alright, then we speed up the horrible rest, and uh, yeah, in a few seconds we defeat the level 53 Vega fleet, and we can see during the riot we got around 14,000 loot. I would rather do the level 50s, I have to say, when it comes to the loot now, uh, but the level 55s are the most attractive ones if you do them on PC the way I showed you. And then we have the Colossal Mobile Fleet Screen here, <laughs> with also 30 minutes repair time, like the same with the 55s, right? But this was, of course, because of our mistake. My mistake, not yours. <laughs> Alright, now let's come to the fitting. You can see the wedge formation, and the tank has uh, Iridium Armor 5 4 times, level 5 and 4 shock shield, and uh, Armored Hold level 3 if you have it. It's not necessary, though. This way we just get a little bit more hit points, and we can also collect more cargo from defeated fleets. Okay, we have the Venom Battleship on slot 2, uh, Shock Shield 3, uh, Strafe Thrusters 5, Face Projectiles 5, Tritanium Armor 4 and 4, and then we have 5 Gladius Drivers level 2. Slot 4, 5 and 2 are all equipped the same with a Gladius Driver, okay? You can watch the experience amount, it's all the same. And usually you could have all 5 Venom Battleships that way, but if you have the Wave Driver on level 2 like I do, then you can optimize and perfect it a little bit more by using those on slot 3 and 6. They perform slightly better on those slots for the following reason. If we look at this scene there for a moment and stop it, then you can see that the Battleship on slot 4 all the way to the right and the ones next to it have to fire from very far off to the right while the APOC is not flying towards them, but towards your tank. The Gladius Driver has a much higher hit chance with the Proximity Trigger Detonation feature and the Splash Damage, so we use that on these slots in order to still be able to hit precisely. But don't worry, you can also do the entire fitting completely without Gladius Drivers and only Wave Drivers, or only Gladius Drivers and no Wave Drivers. I believe you could even use the Mass Driver, less effective though. Alright, that was the detailed 50-55 to 55 Vega farming tutorial. You can also use it against level 45. It will even be a free instant repair then. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome. As always, Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.